Hello guys, in this video I will explain how to start using MongoDB Atlas framework with, with Python. And uh, before coding we need to prepare MongoDB Atlas framework and uh, we will do by uh, entering to official MongoDB website, it's mongodb.com and if you have an account just log in to your account by entering your credentials login password and first thing that you have to do is to create is to build a cluster so select build a cluster click on it and select one of uh, three options the first one is uh, free and the second one is single region cluster and the third one is multi-region cluster that is more expensive so in this example we'll use a free and here we have three options from provider it's Amazon Web Service, Google Cloud Platform, and Azure. In this example, I will use Amazon Web Server. I will live in Vilnius, so I choose Frankfurt. And uh, the next thing what you have to do is to select the uh, cluster tier. It's uh, M0 means free, M2 and M5 it means uh, uh, charge. Uh, for example, it costs uh, 0.035 dollars uh, per uh, hour. Uh, so in this example we, we will use uh, M0 and okay additional settings is MongoDB version 4.2 and enter enter cluster name and okay cluster for YouTube so we need to create a cluster just wait for what, three minutes maybe five minutes uh, sometimes it take longer uh, but during this uh, we can check the data is uh, Amazon Web Service Frankfurt uh, type and okay it's uh, not linked to any app so far so uh, remember that you must create a project if you didn't uh, do it before so uh, our cluster has been built and go to collection and uh, Collection means uh, databases, a collection of databases. So uh, our database's name is real estate and collection name, let's say it's a Zoopla data because we take a data from Zoopla uh, real estate website, click create and the space for putting the data is ready. It's collection real estate and database Zoopla data. So, okay, so far we have zero uh, assets and let's go to part number one. We need to connect uh, uh, our Python algorithm to MongoDB client. So import MongoDB client, import Panther and NumPy for data man manipulation. And the uh, important part is to make a handshake with MongoDB client. Okay, uh, go to connect, connect application choose your uh, programming language in my example is Python and my version is 3.6 and full drive example copy this uh, uh, code and paste uh, here in the cell and one thing that you have to change here is to set the password uh, I hide mine you can type what is your and okay it's uh, error because uh, my mongo my mongo is not defined we imported mongo clients yes that's fine and the next step is to connect to the database so we will connect to the database where we are the client and uh, okay we need to define what is our collection and what is our database and our collection is real estate and collection is Zoopla data okay let's uh, copy and paste this name yeah Zoopla data okay and uh, after defining this uh, information we have to check the record and uh, we can check the data okay it's a cluster for YouTube it's a uh, it's a uh, class type is dictionary and connection is true uh, source is admin and so on and so on and CLL is true 
so so far it's working so far is good and uh, check the numbers of documents uh, before making manipulation is zero okay and uh, it's a good time to load the local CSV data to MongoDB database by doing this we have to load uh, the local CSV file as usual uh, by using pandas and just load the CSV file in standard way it's up onto you um, you can see how I'm doing it but uh, it's possible very different way so it's, as it's told it's up onto you okay and drop useless columns like this and rena rena rename some columns is also up onto you and, and check how it looks like okay i think that this data frame uh, it can be loaded it can be ingested to our mongo database and so let's do it and before that we we have I recommend to check the database dimension and uh, we can see how many examples and how many features we have so in this example we have uh, let's see uh, 169 examples and 15 features okay let's go to the data frame for example and what you have to do is to convert data frame to list of dictionaries this uh, data structure is uh, suitable for MongoDB that so because of this we have to do this action okay and we see that it's working we have a dictionary for each example as you can see okay we can put a random number and that's good for MongoDB. That MongoDB uh, believes to get from uh, our algorithm. And uh, we have to insert this data frame to MongoDB database. So now we have uh, 169 records in our MongoDB data frame. Let's check it in uh, browser yeah the data is here and it is the same data from our local CC file and it looks like very clean very uh, nice looking data and uh, now I want to show example how we can to create a new record and put it to MongoDB uh, databases from Python so let's create a new example let's say this uh, like this area central London district and bedrooms that's this free original price let's say 55555 five, 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 and fit equal to one and let's put this example to our MongoDB uh, databases it's done and let's check on uh, the browser it is uh, really okay or, or not but I hope that it's okay and as you can see in uh, browser you can make uh, you can make a filtering uh, for your specific uh, data in this field filter and uh, it's working like that okay we're looking for central London district area and uh, yeah yes this example is uh, in our database is uh, in here is loaded correctly and uh, uh, this command uh, works fine so go to part number three where is in mongodb with python and uh, of course you can make a very difficult and simple queries in MongoDB and in this example I will show you how to find for example a single document in the databases uh, so okay let's say it's our search result number one equal to record and why find one uh, example which has ID equal to 
4665219 and print out the uh, printed out the result. Okay, let's see it. And the second case is we can also find the multiple documents in our databases and use operator or and and uh, uh, like this standard operation operator and uh, search result number two uh, will find uh, uh, multiple examples which uh, with and operator and uh, in this operator we put argument that area should be west Drayton and uh, bedroom uh, equal to uh, less or equal to two yeah and we need to extract the five uh, examples from the search result and uh, we will do it like this okay yeah i think it will be work okay we found five examples based on uh, criteria yeah and we put a number of uh, search uh, elements and print uh, let's say the fifth uh, example from the search result yeah okay it's working let's see the result um, okay we found there's 23 examples based on criteria is West Drayton and uh, bedrooms is two or less to two uh, Okay, and uh, the fifth element from the search result is this one, and uh, and okay, and uh, the search result number one in the very beginning uh, it was with this ID, and uh, okay, we also found uh, this uh, example from our database, and so as you can see, we can make a lot of queries, and it's working also in MongoDB. And uh, in addition to that, we can to update search results by modifying the column, the features. And uh, by doing this, we need to create a subgroup that we need to update. For example, we need to update a column named new to need to recheck. And we will make this uh, update procedure to examples that has uh, bedrooms equal to three or less. So put argument set and uh, define that we will update uh, from subgroup uh, criteria so yeah it seems that's working and uh, let's go to a browser uh, refreshing yeah and uh, check the result yes okay you see need to recheck and uh, it's it's look like it's working and uh, we we updated the example by uh, criteria and part number four is our data manipulation in mongodb and for example we can update documents is uh, you can see the student update historical approach uh, how it's working we will make uh, update criteria in dictionary and we can update one or update many examples in one time uh, we can check arguments in this line okay also we can to delete documents uh, we have a procedure delete uh, the delete one because we need to delete one documents with this criteria okay uh, and also we can find deleted elements uh, in some cases in some cases is uh, useful to use but uh, in our example it's nothing and uh, here I show how to uh, retrieve entire MongoDB database from uh, server to Python as under data frame. So it's look like this. Uh, so 
as you can see uh, it's it is uh, the same asset uh, from uh, server and uh, if you change something in server you can see effect in your python and uh, okay let's put make update uh, uh, in the context uh, from this example area with drayton and uh, make refresh okay we see name john miller uh, on this example where area is with drayton but the rest of uh, examples are none because we made update we, we made update only for one example so we can change it and uh, not update one but uh, update just update or make update many so refresh the data frame and as you can see john miller is on the all uh, examples where area is west drayton yeah and documentation i always always recommend to go to official documentation and uh, for mongodb is very rich very easy to follow very easy to uh, make a demonstration and make ex experiments on this I really recommend to go to this website and to make your own uh, uh, actions it's really 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 rich and user-friendly so thank you for watching and see you on the next videos bye bye